Thank you for listening to Staff Infection. If you like me this much and you're still listening, come see my ass live. For God's sakes, I'm doing a whole Filth Queen tour. And I'm in Calgary, Alberta, October 12th to 14th. Vegas, I'm at Wise Guys. Come see me October 20th to 21st. Then I'll be at San Diego, La Jolla, the Comedy Store, October 27th to 29th. And then guess what? I'm doing three little fucking theaters. And I really want you to come see me at these theaters. One night only at these places. I'll be at the Miracle Theater in Washington, November 10th. Brooklyn, New York, I'll be at, um, I'm at it somewhere. <laughs> I, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm in New York on November 11th. God damn it. Then I'm going to be in Somerville, Boston. I'll be at the Crystal Ballroom on November 12th. Please come to those three fucking shows. And then my big goddamn show in Toronto, guys. It's 80% sold out. I really want to sell this fucker out. November, December 14th. Fuck me up the ass. There's too many to read out loud. At the Danforth Music Hall, December 14th. Get tickets to that now. And then I'm on the road literally January to April. I'm booked, but we'll do those dates later. Please follow me on Instagram and find these dates and buy tickets. Thank you. Caraway is offering new members 30 days free if you go to caraway.health slash Steph. There's no credit card required to try it. Get free and unlimited access to chat with their care team for 30 days. That's C-A-R-A-W-A-Y dot health slash Steph for 30 days completely free. Caraway is available in select states. Go to caraway dot health slash Steph to learn more. Very funny man. It's really, it's really embracing being in Canada right now. Uh, he's got a solo she- show here in Montreal. Give it up for Mark Urbano! <laughs> Get your ass in here. You silly dude. Look at, look at, for those of listeners, he has a very Montreal theme to watch on right now. It's absolutely absurd. It's, on, it's honestly crazy. And you're wearing a Montreal jazz shirt. Yeah, they gave these to me at customs. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> 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 like a so did you, how are you? First time I No, you did new faces. I did new faces in 2017, and yes. six years later, now I'm back because I'm finally ready to come back. <laughs> how were you on rep new faces, or were you? I was repped. Yeah. Oh. Same year as uh, Taylor Tomlinson. Um, <laughs> Rami, you know, we're all about doing about the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all have the exact same career. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I bet you, where did I meet you first? No one knows. No. Uh, I bet you, uh, Danny uh, Palumbo. Danny Palumbo. Correct, yes. My good. old roommate, Danny Palumbo. That's right. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny Palumbo. Okay. Um, and then you, uh, and then you were in, where were you, where did you start? Austin, were you? Texas. I was yes. in Austin for a bit. You ever go to Texas? Yeah, I've been to Texas. Yeah, I'm, in Texas. I'm not a good podcast guest. Also, Joe's really good. I'm not uh, good at answering questions. But you have? Don't you do a late night talk show? No. Dude, you've done like you've done like a, I've seen your fucking show. You've done you do like a question thing. You ask personal questions. I just do scripted stand up comedy, and as soon as I'm off script, I lose it. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, you were on Fallon, or is it Kimmel? I'm really good at that. <laughs> I was on both. You're on both. Yeah. Well, there we go. I didn't stand up on Fallon. They would never let me just stand up on Fallon. They wouldn't? No, no, no. You, what did you do in there? Uh, I was a writer. They okay. put me on screen. Okay. Yeah. They put you on screen and get you off the side. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. great. And now you're out here buying all the fucking merch in Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> you buy $20. $20 you paid for that. Canadian. So what is that American? The, the no extreme doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I, I don't know. People are like, <laughs> there's a raid out here, and I'm like, I don't know. It's, I'm so stupid. Yeah. I act like I'm not. No, come on. Do people think I'm smart? Everyone thinks you're really smart. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about you and Russell. I was around the party last night. <laughs> 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 Russell Peter was like, you're actually really smart, though. Uh, watch him walking here, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, please join us. <laughs> Who wrote that intro? It is funny how when one, my favorite part of these hustles is one little thing gets brought up. Like I heard one new face was doing cocaine in the green room. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> and it really spreads like wildfire, you know what I mean? Like you really just one little story. 
I'm going to start trying to make up. I, I actually at the old festival when there's, what's his name? The guy the fedora. I'm blanking on his name. He's the book. Jack. Jeff Singer. Jeff Singer. Yeah, yeah. What about Jeff? What about uh, my buddy Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> he was a book over just for the last, and he got, uh, for the American side, he got outed for being a bad man, I believe. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, there were emails. Uh, but I tried starting a rumor a couple years ago that he had taken some door off because he had a swastika tattooed to his head. Um, <laughs> Olivia kept him. She's right now shaking her head. She's like, please stop telling people that bit. I'm like, it's a funny bit. <laughs> Look, he's a bad man. He told a bunch of women creepy shit. It's like what? Look <laughs> <laughs> at your folio. This, this podcast has become a roast of me never getting booked again. Like, why does it? <laughs> Just people who do a pad. No, he's Jefferson. I believe he's uh, uh, now in Florida booking a music venue. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. And then a lot of conservatives down there are like, we get your brother. He's <laughs> like, oh my god. What the hell else is waiting for fedoras down there? You what? Everyone else is waiting for fedoras. Is that right? In Florida. A lot of fedoras down there. Come on. Have you ever worn one? I feel like you can wear one. It's yeah, nice. I wear one all the time except for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one time you put one on. With a big maple leaf on it, I just bought it. Yeah. You, need, I, you honestly, if I find one, I'm going to buy a few. Please. <laughs> I need clothes. <laughs> you came here with nothing. You came here with a pair of slacks, no clothes, too fucking customs, just bare back, and you're like, what time is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know what time is <laughs> it. Are you touring now? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Edinburgh. You're doing the fucking fringe! To the fringe. Holy shit, yeah, yeah that's a big fucking thing. Right. Yeah. yeah, anybody can do it actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have $300. Yeah, are you doing the free fringe? No, I'm doing the, I'm doing the one that I've put in too much money and uh, there's no way it's gonna be that good. Uh, what venue are you doing? Pleasance. That's good. No, that's good. You've done it. I have done it. I did it ago. One time, 2012, me and uh, my sketch partner, Allison Hawk, Lady Stash. Oh, shout out to Lady Stash, two minutes. Um, yeah, we did it. It's fucking, it's brutal. Okay. But we, no, we, <laughs> real inspiring words. No, we did it, uh, just the two of us. And we flyered for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And we stayed at my mom's friend's house, um, who I didn't know was like a shedding dog and her hair was everywhere. <laughs> like on sure the man. ice tray. Like I went to get ice and there was like clumps of hair. <laughs> it was disgusting. And then uh, we, it was so gross, we kept like, being, she had this like air, so she left for the house. And it was also like 40 minutes outside the city, so we had to get a fucking bus in every day, it was a nightmare. And we literally like, I cleaned the house because it was making me sick, and there was like, this, this automatic like, like, like a air freshener. And it was like really sweet ones that make you just feel like you get a headache automatically, so I moved to a different room. And she came home early, and Alice and I were lying down with her, and I was like, oh no. And then the vacuum I left out, she said, why was the vacuum out? I was like, I, I dropped the glass and I was like panicking, but it was not a, not a good story. I'm realizing now. Because you're um, embarrassed that you cleaned. Yeah, I'm embarrassed that yeah. I cleaned that woman's house because it was so. That's nice to clean. No, I don't know. So it's like something was wrong with her. That's too much shedding. I'm gonna edit a lot out of this even podcast. Um, <laughs> What's her full name? <laughs> I already said five other full names. Um, but you're excited. You're doing an hour. Yes. Just you. What's the hour? I'll stand up. It's called the Apology Comeback Show. Okay. That's my hour where I'm not making fun of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> is that true or is this? I can't tell the sarcasm with you right now. I really yeah. don't know what's going on. I'm lampooning a certain type of comedian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> name names? Are any names here? Chris D'Elia. Yeah. <laughs> <Something> like <that. laughs> I like the way I, I make fun of them. I, almost every single podcast I've done. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's a really nice man, and I think he's always been really funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> the funniest part about it. My manager's not even walking out of the room right now. I think she left. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. She did. Allie Bukowski's here. She makes fun of Leah. This is great. Actually, Allie Bukowski started. Uh, can I say this? I don't know what you're gonna say. That, that you uh, stopped calling in your mails at the improv because he was still working there. Oh yeah, and then they Whoa. didn't book him there. And they didn't book anymore, so Whoa. she's the fucking yes. You were one of the main reasons they stopped booking with the whole improv. It's kind of fucked up, Allie. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, so you were you excited about going to Scotland? You've been there before? Never performed overseas ever. Okay. Uh, only been to Greece for two weeks. Because the age of consent laws over there. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so, what have you heard about Edinburgh? The food is great. 
No, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm spending thousands of dollars to go see if uh, anything works out. It will. It's all I have. It will. That's all you have your last thousand dollars. My last. You blew it on that fucking yeah. stupid watch. <laughs> what, <laughs> am I, what am I going to buy in Edinburgh to fit in? Um, <laughs> you have a lot of Scottish stuff. Buy a kilt. Did you know I used to competitively Highland dance? I'm a boy. <laughs> you don't wear skirts. You, you can wear no um, underwear in the kilts. Most true Scotsmen don't wear anything underneath. We used to know. We used to know. Cool. We Scottish danced our whole life, so we uh, used well, to Well, then I'm going to buy some shoes with a mirror on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. It's, honestly, it's my favorite angle of a dick and balls. Just yeah, really yeah. low and underneath and shallow. <laughs> You really can't tell what's going on out there. So. <laughs> you just under a bunch of scotch. You're going to eat a lot of fish and chips. Fish and chips. That's the main thing. They wrap them in newspaper. Why? So you can read the news in the back of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they do that. They do it to absorb the oil? Yeah, absorb the oil. I like the oil. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't want to read about Yeah, that, it's. I don't know. What else can we say about Scotland? A lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. Yeah. Are you a big drinker? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this festival I've, I've drank so much that I literally can't get drunk anymore. Like I, it's been a problem. I've been here since last Tuesday and it's been like an issue. Try fucking tonight. Oh, I'm trying tonight. I literally, my sister's in the house, like, we're getting shots after this. I hear there's an after after party. Tonight. After after party? That's what I'm hearing. Where is that? No, 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 tomorrow, Friday, till 5 a.m. Today is Friday. Do you want to go? Today's Friday? Today's Friday. You're fucked up. Yeah, You're I've fucking been me up. For like a while. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're fucking me up. Big time. Um, Big time. Okay, yes. I used to DJ the after after party. DJ Tanner, big deal, used to DJ. Ooh. Nobody cares. Um, I care. <laughs> I care. Thank you so much to our sponsor, Caraway Health. Have you ever gone onto WebMD to look up why you might have a headache and convince yourself that you're dying and you have cancer and it's the end of your life and then go down an even further rabbit hole because you find another weird ailment that comes up that you think and you have a huge panic attack? <laughs> Guess what? Most of the guests on my podcast have this. And here's the thing. You don't have to go through this. Don't panic. Talk to a real doctor instead right away with Caraway. That's what this whole app is here for. You start having a panic attack any hour of any day, there is a doctor ready to talk to you, ready to give you an actual diagnosis. Not you asking your best friend, Becky, who read one article once. No, 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 no. Talk to Caraway, a real doctor, right away. I'm not going to lie. I've actually used Caraway a couple times now. I have a insane ingrown hair that's gone <laughs> out of control at this point, And I thought I had a full staph infection. So right before going on stage last week, in a panic, I literally call a doctor and show them photos of my giant ingrown hair. Guess what? Turns out not a staph infection. And I'm glad I talked to somebody because I was Googling staph infections and freaking out. Of course, staph infection, staph infection, it all makes sense. I'm telling you right now, Caraway Health is the way to go. If you're panicked, if you're in a, even if you have health insurance, it's not a lot of money. And if you're in a full-blown panic attack like I was, a doctor literally talked to me within five seconds and then I sent photos immediately. And I right away got uh, exactly what to do, told me to draw a circle around it to make sure it doesn't spread. And it didn't spread. And they checked in on me and it got better. I'm telling you right now, please, please use Caraway Health if you don't have good health insurance, if you just moved to America, you don't have anything set up yet, or if you literally, you can't, what are you gonna call Kaiser Permanente at, at 3 a.m.? You're not going to, you're not gonna go to emergency. It's crazy. Download Caraway right now. Membership starts at less than $25 a month when you select an annual membership. That's less than a copay at Urgent Care. All the care you receive from Careway is covered by your membership fee, including therapy sessions. And if you need labs, in-person care, or prescriptions, your team can coordinate with your doctor outside of Careway and even help you navigate insurance questions. Right now, Careway is offering new members 30 days completely free if you go to careway.health slash Steph. There's no credit card required to try it. Get free and unlimited access to chat with their care team for 30 days. That's C-A-R-A-W-A-Y dot health slash Steph for 30 days completely free. Caraway is available in select states. So go to caraway dot health slash Steph to learn more. Let's get into your body stuff. Okay. Do you have body stuff? I, uh, I got a late in life circumcision. 
Oh, this is good. We like this. How so late? Two weeks ago. No. No, was, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. Like two weeks ago. Um, it was. I was in the fifth grade. Okay. Probably in the fifth grade. Grade five, plus Canadians. Eleven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was eleven years old. And what? Maybe ten. Okay. Were you not cleaning it properly? Were you getting that cheese? I was certainly not cleaning it properly at all. Yeah. I was getting yeah. a lot of, uh, what's it, when you get like a fever, like usually happens to late, urinary tract infections. You a fever? That's not yeah. too right. Well, I got a fever from it. From UTI? Yeah. I kept getting a bunch of UTIs. I get UTIs constantly. I don't know what's going to be fever. Well, okay, you so never had a dirty fucking dick like I <laughs> <laughs> You get a fucking fever when you're so stupid. <laughs> So did your parents not explain to you how to clean the properly? They your did, opinion? I just refused to listen. Like, you just, was it so much for skin? Like, yeah, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know if it was an insane amount, it just, I would refuse to, you gotta, not to be graphic, pull the skin back and clean it with soap. And I was like, I don't like to do that. <laughs> That's it, I just simply don't like to do that, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, so then the doctor eventually figured it out, I don't know how, but it was it's like... This must uh, be super common. I, I, I don't know. It's, was there like a smell? I don't know. Yeah, the doctor just went down, gave it the, the old sniff test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you too. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, my doctor is cool. Uh, doctor D. Yeah. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the doctor was like, okay, we have two options. You can either... Clean your fucking clean your I was like, what's the other option? <laughs> or we can cut the skin off. I was like, snip it, doc. Snip it. That yeah. was you rather Snip it, doc. Okay, so then he goes, do you remember the surgery? Yeah, I was 10 years old. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, intense. I went under. I remember at one point, uh, they took me into like a big room. It was a lot like this. Uh, there was a podcast going on. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I was wheeled in and they, uh, put the, you know, whatever, the, the knocks, yeah, anesthesia. And they were like, okay, now just uh, uh, piss. I was like, what? I was just like on the table, like, just piss. I was like, okay. And then I peed and then I woke up with a mangled dick. Yeah. Oh my God. So when they, when they, okay, what was We haven't thought about this in years. This is fun. I don't get the piss, like, you just piss in the air? I don't know. I guess there was just like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's strange. I've never heard that right before. Is this not an official? No, no, this is. I, I, it was I'm in Mexico. I'm not a doctor, but I like to hear these things. Okay, you pissed for a reason. You woke up, and how much? Like, was there? So now, grade ten, grade five, ten. Are you getting boners then? Of course. You are. Yeah. So right. can you not? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. I'm asking. I'm getting a boner now. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I don't remember. Because once, I know somebody else who got a late life, who's like 20 something, I know you can't oh. get a boner for like, as you have, can't try because the stitches will break open. I knew they, they said you can't fuck. I was like, sir, I'm uh, <laughs> yeah, no, You can't fuck. That was his exact wording. Uh, <laughs> this has gotten dark real quick. Um, okay, because what, what did they say? Do you remember like, the, the healing? I remember moment? waking up. And you know, surrounded by my loved ones. <laughs> all my loved ones, we all went together. And your penis was just the only thing hanging out? Well, they were like a white <laughs> sheet and just the penis up? No, but I remember, oh, wow, how did it go? They're like, great, now don't freak out. And I looked down at my penis and I freaked out. It looked fucked up. Oh, yeah. It looked like if you got, like, not to be too gross, raw chicken in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> not to be too gross, the worst comparison. <laughs> That is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. And, and then I passed out again and then I woke up later, kind of. Like, okay. I was like, oh, freaked out. So then how, what, why did they do a butcher job? You must have a lot of foreskin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so they get rid of it. And I'm going to keep it uh, on this necklace. And I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just threw a bag of raw chicken again. Like, oh my god. Could you imagine, like, people, because people keep um, afterbirth. Yeah. Don't they? Are you keeping your afterbirth? 
can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a collection of raw stuff in a Ziploc bag. Because <laughs> people keep out with you. Your parents didn't want to keep you forced. <laughs> I don't think they did. No, no. They're not we go on public like and stuff. We gotta get off this, okay? Okay, sorry. No, no, no. I know that yet. So, thing. so now was it weird to have like a different looking penis? Because you were used to what you had. It was so much better. You don't have to clean it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Never used soap in my life anymore. Yeah, 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 that's great. It, that's it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were a dirty little boy. I guess so. <laughs> I also had a thing where I didn't want to go use the restroom ever, like, which I think also like. That did contribute to the urinary tract infection. Yeah, big time. Yeah. I would refuse to piss or shit. <laughs> like if I was hanging out with my friends, I would just like be like, "Hold on, guys," and I would like hold it. I'd be like, "All right, I can keep hanging out." Is that weird? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit off. I love my friends. I don't know what's so wrong with that. <laughs> Is it weird that I was like hanging out for the longest time? I could shit public. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, but I but I would like be able to pee. Was it like a nervous thing, or is it just like no? Just, it was just like I was having fun. I don't want to like go to the restroom, pee, you know, wash such, my hands, yeah. come back. What if I miss something? Such FOMO. A, yeah, FOMO. Yeah, yeah FOMO. Yeah, yeah. FOMO. Yeah, such a UTI like, and FOMO. So what did you do? You had a lot of cranberry pills for your UTIs? Like, uh, no, they didn't know what what it was until they were like, we gotta just chop this shit off. So you just struggle with UTIs? Yeah. Shit, yes, and buddy. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm unhealthy. Are you, are you a healthy boy now? No. <laughs> no! I actually, I've Good had this uh, weird uh, cough for like three weeks. It's COVID. It's, uh, it's, no, it's not COVID, but it's not anything. It's just like I wake up with it and I have to like cough shit out, phlegm out. And uh, this morning, uh, I coughed out a little bit of blood. And I'm not going to go to the doctor until I'm back in September. That's do. not good. It's just a little bit of blood. No. Just a little bit. It was just reddish. <laughs> That's blood. Why is this red? Just a little red. Oh, it it went away. Bag. I was just coughing too much. <laughs> People are very concerned about your right <laughs> It went from laughing hysterically to everyone being very upset. Is there a doctor here? <laughs> is there a doctor? Are you a doctor? Oh my gosh. Is that bad? See? I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have to do my back either, right? <laughs> You got lucky, okay, you're a doctor and you do a lot of this. Both of you doctors? I'm uh, sure. Oh, you're nodding on her behalf. Yeah, thank you so much. What a nice supportive man. Um, do you, does this happen a lot about dirty little boys coming in and not cleaning their penises? Well, yeah, and like, they don't always retract it. They don't always retract it. Yeah, they come feel. They come so. And then gradually, Oh my gosh. This Ew. is awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad my sister's having a girl. Ew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so wait, like, does the head like sealed sometimes? So you're saying that it's better if guys masturbate to get that fucking head peeking out. Hell yeah, thanks for being an ally. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Holy you know, shit. You know what's really healthy? Who? Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a lie for you guys. Everyone's like, no, that's not a that's so He's easier. Yeah, he's easier. I'm doing his gala. Yeah, are you? <laughs> he's writing an intro. He's, he's anyway, anyway, anyway. This is, sorry. Okay, this is okay. This is, what's the worst, can I ask what the worst body thing you've ever heard is? Oh, you talk about? <laughs> oh, God, that's really nice. um, I love the way, again, you know the exact story. <laughs> like, you know the fucking categories here. Do you have pictures? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I met a guy who was scheduled to go to jail. Oh, wait, hold on, we're going to give you a mic here. Oh. Let's get this. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this. Love a live guest. I, I met a guy who was scheduled to go to jail, and he knew that tobacco was very um, valuable. So he was practicing hiding it um, so he could smuggle it in for when he was going to go into jail. But he, he shaped it like more like a pencil than like and it was like this long, skinny, saran-wrapped amount of tobacco that he shoved up his butt. Um, <laughs> but it was too long and pointy, and he, he poked a hole in the side of his mouth 
and they had to get surgery to get this. Oh my god! <laughs> so he poked the hole so the shit was just coming out? Well, like, it, like he made his rectum bleed and it was like leaking into his pelvis. But I thought blood was fine. A little bit of blood? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like that. That was so sad. Is that okay? Thank you. What's your name? Leslie, thank you so much for that. Sorry, my God. So you talked to how with the worst body thing you've ever heard? No, I can't at all. Well, what's your what's your worst name? I see. I, I was racking my brain. I was trying to think of something. The closest I could think of. Have you seen that video of the Pain Olympics? No. Oh, yeah. You guys know this video, the Pain Olympics? Yeah. Um, what is this? It's uh, a video. Uh, apparently, it's fake, but still made me come. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> it, it's uh, body mutilation. Oh, like somebody's Ooh. like a close up of their dick and balls, and then they're just going at it with a fucking knife or something. No! And it's like a thing that like little kids watch when I show it to them. No, when, when you're like <laughs> a little kid, and you're just like, oh, it's, oh, it's freaky, you know? So that that was, uh, that has stuck with me. Oh, God. Yeah. Should we pull it up? Can we watch right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. bring the information down. Yeah. Um, I saw something once of somebody hung, like, it's like a sexual thing with like, meat hooks in their, it's like a, have you heard this? With like hooks through skin, they dangle, and they have. That's a lot. Okay, huh? Now that we have a, a roaming mic, does anybody else want to share their worst body story? I love this. I've never done a lot of things. Anybody else have a bad body story they want to share? I'm so, I'm so bad at this. Nobody? Oh, uh, I got excited. Mike, go on. Yeah, no, you, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's try this. I didn't realize we do this. Now I'm getting into it. Not like you're a bad guess, but I'm like. I, I, I know. <laughs> I mean, I okay. Know. Okay, I and so when I was when I was in high school, I had to do like a research project for school about like like customs that are not what we do here. And I learned about what uh, was called the vegetarian festival in Phuket, Thailand, where people would challenge themselves to fit more and more outrageous things through their cheeks. So you have people like literally roaming around with like bikes, like in their cheeks, and they're roaming with it, swords, so many knives. There's like. Like bicycles? Bicycles. Like I literally through the skin. Through the skin, through both cheeks, like just straight up carving their mouths open and then and it's a yearly festival. Like what if bring the whole family down to this yearly fun fest? Where is this? <laughs> and, and who books it? Yeah. <laughs> Jesse. <Just saying. laughs> Print out all these like I, I did a project on it, so I'd have all these pictures. I'd be like, why did I do this? That's terrifying. It's messed up. I, like, Is it starts even a prize? Well, no, it's just like it's, it's like a pride thing because it starts out as like, oh, we got like different piercings and like different things, and then more people was like, I got three swords in, and you're like, well, fucking, who's gonna be Greg? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm like, four, I'm like, four swords, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, four, <laughs> swords, four swords and a bike. Oh, there's photos of it. Oh no, I don't want to see it. I do 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 want to see it. I don't 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 want to see it. Oh my god. Validating. That's bad. Validating. Validating. Thank you, Mike Carosa. Does anybody else want to share a bad, crazy body thing you heard? Okay. Yes, yes. We have Jordan over here. Yes. There you go. I love you in this. Thank you. Fits the S, great. So it's not so much like disgusting, but I was like a. Eight years ago, I took a nap after, so I had. That's fucked up. I know. <laughs> a month prior to this nap, I had appendicitis, poison ivy, and I pulled my labrum muscle on the same day. That's a lot. It was my 27th birthday. It was not a fun day. Uh, but I recovered from that, took a nap, and during my nap, my body had uh, this autoimmune reaction that freaked the fuck out, and it gave me. I woke up with the arthritis of like a nine-year-old war vet. My hands didn't move. My knees didn't move. Like I tried to get out of bed, and I just boom, I hit the ground. Oh and like my God. for months, almost a year, I would have to like take an hour in the morning just to get my joints working again. I couldn't do stairs and every doctor I went to was just like, I don't know, you're young, you're fine, just walk it up. And it just took years and years for diagnoses to get through. Oh my God. And you're fine now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help, go weed. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. We yeah, when you you were in Canada, right? When this happened? Yeah, so you could, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you went to the doctor. Yeah, that the stage would be like, uh, yeah, so with you with your coffee and blood, you're like, yeah, just fine. do a podcast and ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Well, thank you for sharing that. That was insane. Jesus Christ! What was the diagnosis? What was it called? It's uh, reactive arthritis. Uh, it's right. called writer's disease. Was what they called it, but I don't just kind of sign it up. What does it mean? Writer's R I E T E R. Oh, writer's. Huh. Writer's. 
Writers Guild. Hey, we're on strike. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, 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 don't bring us up. We're on strike. <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. Okay, great. We love this. Thank you. We'll, we'll, uh, that was fun. I like doing personal stories. My sister's already in the podcast two times. She's like, I don't have any more fucking stories. Leave me out. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Once our baby gets shot up her ass. <laughs> that's how babies come out, right? But yeah, sometimes. Um, sometimes. If it's a boy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get more into you. You, um, so were your parents like weird growing to do with the yeah. yeah. So yeah. essentially, do they say weird stuff to you? Like weird like body stuff? They just told me so much weird stuff, I don't know what's true anymore. Uh, and I don't, I don't like talking about my parents uh, disparagingly. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. We've had a sore spot here. I'm just shit on my parents for like fucking 20 years. <laughs> well, then let's, uh, let's, let's get to the final question here. Uh huh? The funniest way you think you would die. Fuck. Joe was such a good guest. I'm, uh, I'm not as good uh, at coming up with. I, I was thinking, you know, on stage. You know, mm-hmm. that's a classic. classic. But then I was looking it up. I, I did some research. Uh, a lot of people die on stage. Do they? Yeah. There was like four this year alone. All musicians. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just like in the middle of a full performance? Yeah, they get just heart attacks and shit and they die. Um, oh, shit. I think Cosby died on stage. I feel like that's definitely how I'm going to go, doing a big act out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, one deep squat too many, my fucking anus prolapsed or something, and then I just bleed out on stage. <laughs> yeah, maybe like doing like a one of those like Chappelle, Jim Carrey sets where you're just on stage for four hours and you're just bombing. <laughs> <laughs> and then just at the end of it, you just die. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be fun, okay. Yeah. Well, have fun in Edinburgh. You're gonna fucking kick ass. You're gonna yeah, eat lots of fish and chips. You're gonna... Haggis. Haggis. Do you know what it is? No. What is Haggis again? Beef. Sheep and chest size, is that what it is? Yeah. It's not bad, there's a lot of rice in it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where we used to. I think there is, I don't fucking know. Go follow Martin on all social media. Thanks. Thank you for coming to the live Thank you for coming to the live Thank you for coming to the live If anybody wants to see my uncircumcised penis. <laughs>